Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a 3D book post on your WordPress. It's very easy, all you have to do is create your book and then upload it to your WordPress. And I'm going to show you how you can do it in this tutorial. First things first, you're going to want to go to the plugins area and then go to add new plugin. Next, you're going to search for 3D flipbook plugins. And as I can see, there is a lot of 3D Flipbook plugins available, but the one that we're going to be using today is this one, which is the PDF Flipbook 3D Flipbook PDF Embed PDF Viewer Dear Flip. So you can go ahead and click on Install Now. Once you got the plugins installed, you're going to want to activate it. So go ahead and click on Activate. And once you click on the Activate button, it's going to bring you into the plugins page. So this is the plugins page, and you want to make sure that the plugin is already activated. Once it's activated, it's going to show on the left side of the screens right here. So we're going to go and take a look at the books that we have, which probably none because we haven't had any yet. And all we have to do is add a new book. So you can go ahead and click add new book. And here we're going to start on adding our book that are going to be transformed into a flip book post. So here we're going to go ahead and add the titles. I'm going to add children's book for my title. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose PDF file as my source type. You can choose PDF file or images. It's up to you. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose PDF file. And then I'm going to show you how it will looks like if we choose images. And now I'm going to add the PDF file. I've already uploaded mine, but if you haven't, you can just go ahead and click the upload media and then drag your media here, or you can also just select files. All right, so I got my PDF uploaded and now I'm going to add a thumbnail. So when I downloaded the PDF, I downloaded the thumbnail on a different form. So I got the file for the thumbnail. And you can also add category if you want. For example, I want this to be for children's. And once we got the category added, we can go ahead and click on publish. All right, so now that we got the book created here, we got the short code that we can put on our post. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and control C on this short code and put it into our post. So here I'm just going to go ahead and click on add new post. And here I'm just going to go ahead and add the title. So it's going to be a children flip book. All right. So I added my short code over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And as you can see, we now got our flip books right here. So this is how the books looks like. As you can see, you can open and close just like a book. I don't have a lot of pages here, so that's why it doesn't really do much. But if you have more than three pages, it can do even more than this. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And now we're going to create a new one with pictures. So let's go back into our WordPress admin and then let's go into our D flip book. I'm going to go ahead and add a new book right here. And then this one's just going to be a journey book. And I'm just going to add some random pictures just so that we get the idea of how it will looks like if we enter or if we insert picture inside of PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my files. All right. So I ended up adding this random pictures. And just like before, what we're going to do after we edit our content is we're going to go ahead and click on publish. And then we're going to copy on this short code and add it into our post. All right. So here, how it looks like I ended up putting this flipbook in one post. So this is how the flipbook looks like with pictures. It looks just as nice. Now that we know how to create the flipbook, let's try and customize it. Again, let's go back into our WordPress admin. 
and then let's say that I want to edit this one so I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and here I have the options to edit the layout of my flipbook so let's say that I want the background colors to have the color black in it all I have to do is search for the hex number for the black color so let's say or hex code so I'm going to search for black so here I got the hex code for black so I'm just going to go ahead and control C on it and then I'm going to paste it over here you can also choose an image as the background but I think I'm just going to use the color as my background so here I got the hex code added and just for the example just for an example you can just add images as your background if you want to just upload it through here and it's going to be your background and you can also add sound of the flipping pages if you want you can edit the enable download as well as the control positions so here I'm just going to go ahead and click on update Alright, so I got the background updated and let's take a look at the flipbook section. So I got the options to flip it in the form of 3D or 2D and you can also edit the hard pages, the flip duration, the page mode. I can choose whether I want it to be single page or double page and then you can also settings even more on the single page mode, etc, etc. So there is a lot of settings that you can play around with you can also play around with the outline I'm good with the outline so I think I'm just going to leave it as it is again just to play it safe I'm going to go ahead and click on update and I think I'm just going to go ahead and control C in this one and upgrade the one that I've already added on my post so here we're going to go back to our post and then go to the flipbook section and edit for the second ones right here so I remember that the first one is going to be the children's flipbook and this one is going to be the journey flipbook so I'm going to go ahead and click on save on this one and let's try and take a look at the flipbook As you can see, now if I open this flipbook, the background color turns to black. Meanwhile, this one is just plain white. Or muted white because that is the background of my website. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a flipbook on your WordPress post. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.